Hello and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion and to our mm, not so decorated house in Bruma. Now, I did say last time that we would stop here, uh, buy the furnishing uh, that was missing, and then head to Chaden Hall. But before we go anywhere, take a look at this. So, I've stored some of the stuff in here. Now, what is more interesting is this. It was in here when I got here. I don't remember post, uh, putting it here, but well, I will certainly take it with me. Right, so I think we need to head to Nova Roma to purchase the final upgrades to our Bruma house. And then we shall be heading to Chaden Hall, where we don't have a house. At least I don't think so. We should be able to afford it, hopefully. Uh, but uh, we can always... Oh, it's snowing in Bruma. Oh, lovely. I like snow. I believe Nova Roma... Nope, that's Honmon's house. Is it then... No, one cannot get through there. Then I won't, then I won't. Ah yes, the shops are up on the next here. My bad. So... Nova Roma. I believe this is the one. If not, then it's the shop next door. Which is fine. It's you. Hi. Why am I so cross? It's my pl- Rumor Rumors! That Edla Darkheart left Skyrim with the law right behind her. May uh, I interest you in some of my fine wares? If you actually have fine wares, then yes. Um. Uh... Aha! Alright. We def we can definitely afford I've now bought everything Suratan has for my Good house. Day. Yay! Afternoon. That means that our job here is done. So let's head south to Chaden Hall. Whee! Uh, Ow! My pleasure, really. My foot! How goes it? Hmm. So we ventured two ways to get to Chaden Hall. One was across the mountains and another was down by the road. I believe if we take a look at the map, have I also gone... I have also uh, gone through a lot of these things, said I remember. Silvertooth Cave, I don't think I went in there. For Horon, def let's head for the Beast's, the beast's Maw. It's roughly midway to Chaden Hall, so it will do nicely, I should say. And that was... Oh, we need to head south, right? Let's do that and avoid taking fall damage along the way. Ah, yes. So, at the uh, moment of recording this, the... Um, oh! Really? But all right, if you, if you insist. What kind of weapon did you have? Uh, bleh, bleh. So you had an elven shield, that's... Eh. I think you had a glass weapon of sort. Yes, a glass maze. Unenchanted. Pity. It's pretty much... Straight on in the direction that we are headed. All right, that'll do. Oh. Hmm. 
That sneak damage does come in handy. Hmm. Let's try and see if we can't use our arrow of the dynamo. I think the base for these is a glass arrow. It's not overly important, but they are quick to be used up and I don't really care for carrying them around. Not that it matters all that much, but are we going in the right direction? I need to turn slightly more south, but other than that, it's good. Okay, ha! up on the rock. The good thing about these steep mountainsides is that you are unlikely to face enemies here. The bad thing is that if enemies spawn above you, they will most likely discover you. Well, not me, because I my sneak is level 100, so yeah. Um, we don't have an advantage because it's so steep here that no creature would be able to uh, attack us. Oh, a Daedric Shrine to... Hmm, not entirely sure what that is to, but... It's none of my business at the moment. I could get the Daedric equipment that it likely would give me, but I am honestly not all that interested. What I am interested in is if I can even climb this mountain. Uh, it seems to get very, very steep from here on. Hmm, I think I can... Strike across. Why are we heading north? That's wrong. Oh, right. Because it is too dangerous to head in any other direction at the moment. Right. Sometimes the most, the fastest way is not the most direct one. Because in the case of this, the most direct way is pretty much down. And uh, that would hurt my footsies. And... I prefer my footsies unharmed. Don't you hate it when you're wandering in the mountains and suddenly you jump and you fall down and stop your toes? Well, fear not, because now you can avoid it by jump climbing. Jump climbing. Learn it today before it's too late. Speaking of which, sliding down seems to be a relatively safe means of getting down, but I don't think I have business down yet, and if I go down the slope, I can't get up again, not without going a long way around. So really, this is the quickest, albeit slightly obscure way. So what do we have here? This should be Ruby Red Cave, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see if that fits. I'm going in the right direction. It is... Red Ruby Cave. Haha! <laughs> oh! That's a drift. Let's see what the dynamo... Oh! That's a... Ogre. Woo! Ooh! Oh! Cool effect there. So it uh, has a lightning damage as well as filling up a soul gem, if possible. Have I even been in here? Hmm. You know what? I don't think so. I think I ran past it. Alright. Well, let's head in now, because... The reason why we head in is for the sake of obtaining riches. Red Ruby Cave. Hmm. I wonder if the Kaiser Chiefs are in here. Bet you didn't expect me to make a Britpop reference. Alright, let's see. We're gonna actually just check the minimap. Um, it appears that I have actually been in here, as 
it appears to be well I mean it would have respawned but since it is already pilfered I think our time is spent better could you kindly stop jiggling you are dead I think our time is spent better trying to go for a cave that we have not yet discovered speaking of which there's one pretty much on the hut at the moment. That will do. Do we have a... No, that's just a rock. Okay. Mm. The problem is that I can't cancel this arrow and... While... The effect is mostly wasted on a smaller cre on a larger creature, it can be used on a smaller one to fill a soul gem. Not that I'm really pressed for that. I don't even remember if I have any uh, unfilled soul gems, but I suppose we shall see. So what is this place? I've not yet discovered it. So chances are there is a sentry of sorts around. Let's be vigilant. I don't want to get bitten. At least not more than I'd have to. Oh. Was that just a deer going? Yeah, apparently. Frostfire Glade. That's a fairly cool sound. So where's the entrance? Is it just this? Uh, oh. Yeah. Frostfire Cave. Hmm. Well, I definitely haven't been in here. Okay. Up oh, a rat. That should be small enough for me to. Uh... What? No soul gem is large enough to capture a rat. All right. Well, I'll use it mainly to. Uh... Whoop. Maybe I can get my... Can I get my arrow back or is it wasted? No, it's wasted. Well, that's some inventory space that I don't have to care about, so that's fine. Okay, so I might not have any uh, soul gems ready for this ask, but nah, I don't really care. We should remember that... We now need to... I could use the silver arrows, but... I think I will keep those for when, if... Oh. I meet an ethereal creature. Besides, the uh, Elven arrow arrows have a bit of a more punch to them. They do a bit more damage. Oh, there's a lot of bear here. So, ooh, that, that looks important. All right, let's see if there's treasure here. Huh. What's the deal with this door, eh? Hmm. This is definitely a unique place. It's probably related to a quest in some regard, but the... Uh... Well, if... It seems we have to enter there, because there's no treasure in this part, unless you count bear pelts as treasure. Okay. Mm, chances are, given the special design and such, that this is a Daedric quest. Alright, well, we discovered it, we went in and cleared as much as we could, and uh, then we went on our merry way home.
or out at least. That's well, fine. It's part of the discovery of heading into these places. Is oh, I told you to go out. Well, I suppose I didn't tell you, but my intention was for you to head out. Okay, uh, let's check the map once more. Well, how close are we to the great, to the beasts more? Ah, very close. So that would be this on the on the heart, given that. Uh, the fort that just appeared is a Fort Horon. A, a, a fort that we cleared out in the search for an alien ruin. Actually in search of a bedroll if I remember correctly. Hmm. So the beast's maw I discovered but I never went inside as I figured I had better things to do and the chances of a bedroll was deemed small as the sentry was an imp. A natural creature that does not need a bedroll to sleep. Since it's been a while since I ventured through this place, or this land, there is a very good chance that a new sentry, possibly stronger than an imp, have risen to take its place. Yeah, that's both a drag and a spriggan. Hello! Have a nice trip! Oh, the Spriggan would have been the nastiest of these. Sure. All right. So yeah, that was why I did not enter back way, way back when. At least I don't think so. But we shall check the mini map or the local map to see if my memory stands correct. It does. Yes, I have not discovered the contents of this cave as of yet. Well, we shall change that, right? Those are some... Oh. Hello, Minotaur. Uh, goodbye, Minotaur. Why are those roots so jittery? I don't like it. Hmm. Now, I'd really like to find some treasure. Just a little bit, you know. What? One arrow less. The good thing about Minotaurs is that they are fairly easy to spot in a light, in a lit up cave like this. Oh, a rat. Very easy to spot. I could just go in and punch the rat, but eh, didn't feel like it. Okay, what have we got? I hear more rats. And... Hmm. I don't see any bigger creatures around, but, well, that doesn't mean that they aren't here. So is there any treasure hidden over here? I don't... Th nope, would be the answer to that. Hmm. I'm finding a distinct lack of treasure here, and I don't like that development, to be quite frank. You're down there, aren't you? You sneaky git. Ah, there you are. Hello? Is there someone over there? No. Hmm. Huh. Alright. Should take the old... I don't see any uh, will-o'-the-wisps. Which is, well, they would be fairly easy to spot, since they have not yet spotted me, they would remain a glowing orb. Hmm. A path. Leading to... 
the Beast Moor Caverns. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, not really, but I have other destinations that I need to discover first. Plus, if there are wandering monsters about up here, I might as well kill them while I have the opportunity. Really? I hear a rat, and I thought I heard a mud crab as well. Ah, I did. Ah. Whoop. Right. Hmm. The rat is through there. I don't hear any larger creatures. Neither the... The worst thing would be a spriggan. That would really put a wrench in my gears. And there's another mud crab here. Somewhere. Hmm, does this lead to the same place? It does. So, presumably, it loops around. Oh! Ooh! Well, the wisp! God, son of a... Biscuits. Alright, well... There was a reason I saved those silver arrows. And that... Reason... Oh, there was one more over there. Yeah, yeah. Nasty creatures. Well... You shall fall to me. That works. That works quite nicely. Hmm. I see that gorge. Oh, I'd rather not. Actually, I mean, I don't mind seeing the gorge, but its location does bother me. Because, obviously, something is down at the bottom. Something that I do not yet have access to, unless I want to go down there. And I don't want to as of yet. Wait. Glass arrows and elven arrows do the same kind of damage, but only has a difference in value? Huh. That don't seem completely right. I mean, if that's the case, then uh, I could just sell off my elder, my little glass arrows for profit and uh, obtain elven arrows instead. Dah. I might not be a business-minded player, but... Uh, I think I got the model down. Ooh, thank you. Well, I don't see another way, and since I don't see another door, chances are that... Ow. Chances are that this is the way to go to obtain... Uh, to get to the other door. We shall see. Mind that there aren't any big creatures down here. Doesn't bother me none. This should lead back. And it does, right? Well, okay, that means we have cleared this place out. Good. That was. Not as rewarding as I had hoped for, but, well, 
Can't always get what you want. Okay, well, we cleared out the, the beasts more. Acted as a toothbrush. Right. Hmm. Now, we could just go straight to uh, Shadenhall from here. The purpose of that would be very simple. Uh, we do have a couple of, well, at least one quest that needs clearing up in Jadenhall. There is a bit of a way to walk though, so, uh... Hello, dear. Uh, that does lead in the wrong direction, so, yeah. That's a cave I've been to. At least I think so. Hmm. Could there be doomstones down here? It is nightfall, so... It would be possible to activate it. Should I see it? Obviously. It would depend upon... What the Doomstone is promising me of change. Careful now, careful now. Don't wanna up and up and up. up. You gotta get up here. No, you cannot. Aha! Whoop whoop! Okay. That worked out nicely. So this is heading in a more southern direction, which is not really what we want, but uh, I suppose it will make a turn, and it does. Ooh, so where does that one go? That heads southwest to a smaller settlement, and this heads southeast. I believe southeast is the right way to go to get to Chatenhall. There's a mine nearby, but eh, I don't have any business there. For now. So we are on a path, which means that we should be wary of random encounters as they are more likely to happen near or on paths and roads. No! Oh, is that a goblin? Is that a goblin with a glass weapon? Sure looked like it. Ugly. And dead. Yeah. War Axe of the Dynamo. Well, we know what the Dynamo does. Goblin Warlord. Yeah. It's Tuesday. That's a dopey looking face. Well, if there are goblins nearby, that's a chance for me to stack up. On lockpicks. Wow, he survived the sneak attack. But not two. <laughs> Ooh, alteration skill increased. That's lovely. Just what I wanted. Really? You stole my uh, my arrows, you prick. Hmm. I suppose that's fine. All right. Well, goblins are good for. At least lockpicks. Perhaps if I find some... There should also be some... Since it's a mine, there should also be some uh, nuggets of silver or gold value for me to take with me and sell in Chatenhall. Alright. We got some green light here. Have I been in here before? I have. Oh, well, it's, it's a single level, so... And it's probably just goblins. Uh, that is, if they have respawned. I mean, if they haven't, then obviously there's nothing. Please don't be torches. God, son of a... Well, now I know why the mine was abandoned. Ha-ha! <sighs> well, it's not all for naught, because it seems that 
if the enemies haven't respawned, the loot have. And I will take that with me. Hello? Ah. Hey, goblins. Come out to play, hey. Yes, I remember. This was the place. Savage Gun. Yes, this was here where we went with the fighters. Ooh. Two choices. Hmm. Yep. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, this will be a quick pilfering then. I suppose if something does show up, I can always just... Savage copy. Well, you're not gonna... ...pose a threat. So, maybe the goblins haven't respawned. Because, uh, obviously there's a lot of them here and... Well, they don't have any loot and they don't appear to be alive. I don't mind. Ah. Did I? No, I did not. I went through here. Yes. Yep. Oh, goblins. Got a lot of uh, nuggets. And I suppose a couple of lockpicks is better than none. Now this place collapsed. And nothing has been done to clear it out. Well, I don't suppose no one would if the mine is desolate and now filled with smelly goblin corpses. Plus, I believe that also was one of the Fighters Guild members that died in here. A rather unfortunate end for said person, but it was none of my doing. They ran in a different way than I did, and thus I could not save them. But really, if you let yourself be killed by a couple of goblins, can you really be trusted? Seems I've searched all there was to search. Alright, out we go again. A little richer, and why do you want to go online when I'm recording? Please don't do that. I mean, you can do that, but... Could you not show up on my screen? Okay. Well, we got, what, three lockpicks and about 100 pieces of gold and uh, maybe 10 silver nuggets. And it's not as great haul, as haul, a haul as I had hoped, but uh, it will most certainly suffice. Lack of a better option. Hmm. It seems I have... Uh, Unenchanted gear? Are you mad? Duh, no, I'm dead. Oh, right, sorry. My bad. <laughs> hey, let's, uh, let's, let's uh, see. Wow, we are very close to uh, Chain Hall. Lovely! Alright, let's, uh, mm, let's actually, while we have the chance. Uh, no, that was not what I wanted to do. Uh, sneak training. In order to get Marama Rion to train me, I must steal a coin from her pocket without her noticing and return to her. Uh... I approached Aman Christophe about the Thieves' Guild. Apparently, this is not the right time or place to discuss it. He told me to meet him in the ruined garden of Daraloth in the waterfront district of the Imperial City. I have to be there at midnight. Hey. Umbacano has hired me to attain an alien crown. He wants from her Minasia, a rival collector. He paid me in advance. Whatever I do not use to purchase the crown, I can keep as my fee. Okay. I bought... Uh, Modern Orion. Nope. Seeking your roots. Nope. Buy a house and call. Nope. The arena. Nope. Mage kill. Nope. Tears of the Saber. Nope. Priory of the Night. Nope. Knife in the dark. I must go to the abandoned house in the city of Chaiton Hall and attempt to open the door in the basement. When questioned, I must answer with 
Sanguine, my brother, to gain access to the secret dark brother blah 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 Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Once inside, I should speak with Ochiva. Yep. Ah. And we now have a marker that should point us pretty much straight to Jaden Hall. Love it. Let's punch our way there. Oh, that reminds me, have I got the right type of uh, jewelry equipped? I don't have the jewel of the Romare, and I have the ring of retribution. Good, all is well. So last time I ventured out here in the woods near Chaden Hall uh, was actually the first time I met a minotaur in the wilds. It was quite of a hazardous tale as I decided to kill him with fireballs, which took quite a while because. My fireballs are not that strong. Knight of the Thorn. Hmm. So I'm a Knight of the White Stallion in Leowin. I don't know how to become a Knight of the White Thorn. Yet. But, well, in due time. In due time. Okay. Let's start by finding the abandoned house. Hello. Shading Hall. I really like the designs of the buildings of Jaden Hall. Oh, we should also be buying a house. That's right. I'm glad that I remembered it from seeing a painting of... Alright, let's go to the abandoned house first, as because none of the shops are open at this point, at this time of day. So, it literally makes no sense to attempt to go in there. I mean, I am a member of the Thieves Guild, but... I'm not really earning much from just breaking in. Ha! Jump through the graveyard. Ha! -ha. You can't tell me what to do. That looks like an abandoned house. Really? It's easy? It was! Oh, I didn't think I could enter through that, but seems I can. Hello? Does the quest update? Whew. No! Oh. Wooden door to abandoned basement. Alright, if you need to point out that the basement too is abandoned, well... Far be it for me to tell you what to do, but... Ah, there could be other riches here. I don't think so, but... Well, I'd have to check. Oh. Who leaves bread out here in an abandoned house? Do you want to get ants? Because that's, my friend, is how you get ants. Oh, hello. Really? Is this not a skill book? Oh, well, I'll take it. Oh. Clothes. Oh, nice place for a bedroom, but... Uh, uh, right, down to the basement. Hello. I'll punch my way through here. Oh. Are there people here? God damn it, stop putting torches in barrels! You're supposed to be f sensible assassins, not torch putting barrel idiots. It's kind of hard to see. Oh. Ah, yoink! Haha! <laughs> yeah, torches in a crate. I suppose I can't accept that, but I ain't happy. I'm feeling glad. I got sunshine in a bag. I'm over encumbered, but not for long of the future. It's coming on. Woo! Ha ha! What? Who leaves a chest open? That ain't nice. Stop doing that. It gives me false hope. And I hate having fun. Hello? Ooh! Sans red. Ha! Yeah. Your dog, someone left a skull on your door. How did that happen? I don't know. Maybe you had a bone to pick with someone. What is the color of night? That sounds like an 80s hit. Sanguine, my brother. 
Not that much more bluesy, but sure. I mean... I have gained entrance into the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. I must now speak with Ochiva. Ah. Uh, thanks, I guess. Is it you I'm supposed to speak to? It is. Greetings, okay. brother. Greetings. I am Oshiva, mistress of this sanctuary. Lucien has told me all about you. I welcome you to the Dark Brotherhood. You stand now in our sanctuary. May it serve as your new home, a place of comfort and security whenever the need arises. When you're ready for work, go and speak with Vicente Valtieri. He handles all assignments for new family members. But before you go, please accept this gift from your new family. A unique set of armor, lighter than normal leather and black as the void. Now, I've kept you long enough. The Chente is waiting. You'll find him in his quarters. Go now, my child, and may Sithis go with you. Uh, rumors. I, I've heard some talk. This past year, some family members have been found murdered. Could there be an assassin among assassins? That would be a double cross of the century. Go now, <laughs> dear family member, and may the Night Mother wrap you in her cold, loving embrace. Ah, uh, I think I will pass on that. I've seen the Night... Oh, training room. Eh. <laughs> oh. Ah, okay, that's a quick way up to Jaden Hall. Lovely. Hello. I've heard so much about you. Welcome to our family. I mean... But why, sister? What's the point? Why should anyone bother with all that sneaking and skulking? My dear Gog, you are a life-taker for the Dark Brotherhood. Our very existence relies on shadow and deception. Do you not value our secrets? Yes, yes, of course I value our secrets. And I've never betrayed them. I am them. honored by but your using presence. Stealth How can Ochiva be of assistance? Weak. But brother, what of the contracts that require subtlety? You must at least... Bonuses? <laughs> Useless, I say. Brother, Gold and magical word, trinkets are no substitute for the freedom to slaughter anyone I can use. At any time. Oh, you you Hello. Warmest greetings to you. I trust you've already uh... spoken with Ochiva. I am Vicente Valtieri. You are I provide assignments for all new family members. Please do not let my appearance unnerve you. The needs and tenets of the Dark Brotherhood come before my own needs as a vampire. Now, if you're ready to get to work, I can provide you with your first contract. Sure. A contract is a secret pact one enters into with the Dark Brotherhood. They provide us with gold, and we remove someone from existence. A contract is fulfilled by a skilled assassin such as yourself, who keeps the Dark Brotherhood's end of the bargain. So it has always been. While carrying out a contract, you may have the opportunity to earn a bonus if certain parameters are met. Now, let's begin, shall we? I'm not sure how you feel about pirates, but you've got to kill one. A captain, in fact, on his ship, surrounded by his crew. Interested? Yeah, let's hit the contest. Here is what you Ooh. must do. <laughs> Go to the waterfront uh, district of the uh, Imperial City. About that. <laughs> there you will find a ship named <laughs> Marie Elena. Board the ship and find its captain, Gaston Toussaint. He'll be in his cabin. Eliminate Toussaint in any manner you see fit. The pirates have been moving a lot of cargo on board lately. You may be able to smuggle yourself on board in one of the packing crates. Oh, and one more thing. Get into the habit of asking your fellow family members about any current contract. Their insight may prove invaluable. Ooh, a watery Spill grain. some blood for me, dear brother. I'm just glad to know you came out of it all unscathed. 
Well, maybe I shouldn't do that. Ha, ha, ha. Ooh. What have we got here? Ooh, so we got armor. I will take a look at that, uh, actually now. Shrouded armor is worth nothing. Uh, doesn't weigh much, but uh, definitely doesn't provide the same kind of protection. Fortify sneak, fortify illusion, fortify marksman, fortify blade, fortify acrobatics. It's not bad. And the uh, hood does it the same. Did we obtain anything else? Mm, no. So, no gauntlets, no greaves. So, do they honestly expect me to run around in armor and hood? No pants, no boots, no gloves, and kill people. I mean, if I have to do that, then I will. But, uh, so, hey, well. Hmm. I like my resist magic. I mean, I haven't faced that many magic adversaries as of yet. But it is kind of nice to be able to uh, have them do less damage. The Sneak Illusion and Marksman blades are kind of nice, but yeah, yeah not really useful. I'm more the... Uh, have a plate mail for defending myself so that if things goes wrong, I can rely on my armor. Hello! I've had so. Welcome, brother. So good to finally meet you. I hope you're getting along all right. Mm. Now, you seem awfully friendly. Considering that we've just been informed that some members of the family. Quote, have been found killed. You would be my suspect number I one. I travelled by prison ship. It was cramped and dark. There was little room to move around, but plenty of shadowy nooks to hide in. Remember that. Uh, Don't tell anyone else, but someday I'm going to have Uchiva's position. Just you wait and see. Lucy and Lachance knows real talent when he sees it. Yeah. Sure. Good luck, brother. I hope you don't get killed. <laughs> I mean, um, well, you know. Again, you are proving very suspicious. All right, let's head back up to Jane Hall and uh, be a little more legal. The well is securely locked from above and cannot be accessed without the proper key. Well, son of a biscuit! That's not okay. No, no. I forget that I cannot sprint. Do I need to answer a riddle to get out? No, okay. I was about to say. That seems odd. Alright. Out into Chaten Hall we go. With no mention of what went on here. Suddenly you're faced with a guard. The guard seems mighty inquisitive. What do? Run the F away! That's what. Okay, maybe it's daylight outside. I probably should have checked the clock, but eh. Yeah, it's late. Oh, I've been up since 6 a.m. It is still my time, damn it. Ha. Well, why are you still guarding this house? Give it to me! Well met. No. Um. I don't know what's going on here. Hello. I'm saving up enough for some medicine. Um, have a coin. Thank you. Right the thunder seems to be back in. Hmm. Grey Fox. Blessings of up. I'm only asking for it. Yeah, sure. I can't believe it. The great uh, blessings of Mistara upon me. What's the time of day? The time of day is 
7.58 p.m. Okay, so the shops are open now. Right. Hello, well fuck. No. Right, um... Maybe the court is in session. And I believe I have a good standing with oh. him already. So that should be fine. La dee 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 dee. Rainy day in Shaden Hall. Hmm. Morning. Must have taken a long time to lay this sort of paving down. Is this the castle? It is! Castle County Hall. Okay. So we got a less than legal steading in. And now steading Ow! You need to make taller doors. Well met. Uh, count? Hello! Okay, maybe I'll just run around up here and, uh... uh. Oh, oh, that's unlocked. I thought that would be locked. Private quarters, Ooh, those are usually locked, but for some reason not here. Hello! Rubbers! I Nothing of you. use. Until we meet again, may your travels be safe and the road remain clear. Yeah. Well, at least he's friendly. That's something. Hello, I believe that. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's my... Hmm. Bye. With how his lines are spoken, Rakanawa is probably the target for an assassination quest down the line. Uh... Okay. Don't tell me you put oh. Alright. Ham in a barrel. Apple in a barrel. Should we uh I don't You didn't see anything? I definitely didn't see the ceramic picture. <laughs> uh, why did I? I wanted to. I just wanted to look inside the sack. I did not want to. Oh, maybe we should actually read this. <clears throat> Ochiwa, damn that young fool, Antonetta, and her experimental recipes. As if the stench of her cooking weren't bad enough. Last week she made a particularly offensive dish consisting of mandrake, onions, and garlic. Garlic. I've told her repeatedly of the danger this plan poses to me, but she has obviously not heeded my warnings. It is strange, this reaction I have to garlic. In my, all my wanderings and all my research, I have never encountered another vampire thusly affected. It is true that some popular law holds that all vampires have inherent weakness to garlic, but this is simply not the case. My situation, as far as I can tell, is unique. If I were to somehow come into contact with garlic, if it in some way were came to be on my person, the results could be catastrophic. I would most certainly suffer from a loss of strength and stamina, and fear my resistance to magic would nearly completely be nullified. So please, Uchiha, as mistress of this sanctuary, I beg of you to keep Antonetta on a tighter leash. I love her as a sister, of course, but cannot be held accountable for my actions should she continue to disregard my own personal safety. The tenants clearly state that one family member may not kill another, but I don't need to remind you there's no restriction against draining Antonetta of a few pints of precious life blood. Ugh. So he's fearing for his life because he's weak to garlic as a vampire. Big freaking surprise! Again, she seems like the kind of type to... Yeah, I went with you. See? Nothing happened. All is fine. Where is the count? Why is there a flower on the... Ha! Huh. Oh, why am I sneaking? Oh yeah, shoo. Sure. Huh. A nice pleasure mohawk. to speak. Uh, rumors. Yeah, the yeah. Legions Bye, patrol... I'm done. 
Yes. In it's a fairly typical Chayton Hall home. It's in decent shape, although largely I'm unfinished. I'm used to that. Well, 15 gold. I'll take it. My steward will draw up the papers for me to sign. Here is the key to your new home. You can find it in the southwest corner of the city. Oh, I almost forgot. Borba Grausgash at Borba's Goods and Stores will have everything you need to make the place more livable. Sorry, but as it stands now, the place is fairly bare. Enjoy. Okay. That was all Goodbye. I came for. Fifteen thousand. Eh. I mean, that does make buying the house. Well, we did buy the house in Coral. So the only place we now don't have a house. Well, Kawach, but that's a special basket case of its own. And then Skingrat. And Skingrat will definitely take some working up to. Alright. Uh, let's. Yeah. Come on! Duh. Buying a house in Chain Hall. Wee. Good morning. Alright. So our house is in the middle of the street. Ah, uh, my house. Oh yes, I believe I saw the front door. It How is you? not this one, you. It is this one. Huh. A bit isolated, but sure. Door open with my chicken hole house key. Okay, let's take a look at the possibilities in here. Before we start going crazy with buying furniture. Now that I've arrived at my new house in Chain Hall, I may want to head over to Borba Grauskash, Borba's Goods and Stores, to secure some furnishing for it. Hmm. Well, the Count is either a very considerate man, or someone has been inside my house lighting fires. If the latter is the case, I will be severely mad. Ah, and a bedroom. Lovely. It's actually kind of nice. Spacey, ruby, and most of all, it's dry. Hey, let's go buy some furnishing and sell off some silver ducats. Hey yo! Can also raise our mercantile skill, which is always good. Hmm, I wonder what became of the mischievous uh, mage guild leader here in town. You will remember as he tried to drown us. Borba's goods and stores. I believe I have good standing with her already. Well, if nothing else I can sell to her first and then purchase from her afterwards. Ooh. Hello. A pleasure. Yeah. Bartering. Let's do yeah. business. Uh, so I want to sell to you. Oh, they don't have any value. <laughs> well, I think I'm just going to store them in that. I'm definitely not selling that. I need it for something. I forgot what. Oh, yes, in case I run into uh, diseases. Duh. Uh, these are technically from my house in Bruma. I suppose I can just sell that. Do we have any empty soul gems? We do not. All right. You've got a great deal. We only had five silver nuggets. I can't say that I'm exactly happy about that, but meh. All right. What does the cow of the druid? That's a value. Ooh, ooh. Forty-five marksman, five points. That's well, not really a druid's job, but meh. Bread leaf and uh, no 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 house Ugh. a bargain at any a bargain at any price you bought that for a song a fine bargain for you huh. I mean you say that I didn't expect it to be this expensive 
Tell your friend. Oh well. In the next episode, we shall not be heading to the um, waterfront. Instead, we shall be heading. Actually, uh, let's uh, let's go to the map first. So, what we want to do is head. What? What am I? Doing? What is that? Drake loaf. I don't remember that, but apparently I have visited it. Visited it today. Huh? What is this? Harlan's watch. Again, don't know what that is. Hmm. So, what I think we will do is that in the next episode we will travel along the Reed River going down here on essentially on the edge of the Varos Mountains. Then eventually strike in... What is this? Wendelbeck. Uh, eventually we will cross the Panther River, or maybe we'll go in by the Panther River, and go in back to the road and head back to Leiawin. The reason for that is that we have a Fighter's Guild quest in Leiawin. Uh, drunk and disorderly, as you will see here. Uh, why did it reset my map like that? That is not nice. Wait, what? Why doesn't it give me a... Modern Orden has assigned me to another of my duties. I am to travel to Leowin and find out why three members of the Fighters Guild, Tupac, Relian, and Vantus Prelius, has been causing trouble. Okay, so we don't actually know where they are. But I assume they would be at an inn since it says drunk and disorderly. Anyway, that's for next episode. Well, that's actually down the line because traveling to Leowin, since that's going through unexplored territory, will likely be an episode on its own. Anyway, until next time, take care.